hello everyone this is your boy bg from rakish memories and today's tutorials i'm going to teach you how i do my frequency separation in photoshop so what is frequency separation frequency separation is a whole process in retouching the process is about separating color light and texture into two separate layers i repeat the process is about separating color light and texture into two separate layers so without any further ado let's get started so in this tutorial, I'm going to use the Retouching Academy panel. So, first of all, what I'll do is I'll duplicate the background layer, which is Control J. And then I'll come on the panel. So you'll see frequency separation via Gaussian Blur. So I'll select Gaussian Blur. And then, as you can see, they're asking for radius. So the radius simply means at what point do you want to blur the texture you understand so you select where there's so much texture on the image so let me drag it to uh, the forehead let me drag it to the forehead okay so you push the slider so you feel the textures are blurred out and then you're cool with it so i'll keep this one at 7.0 i think it's fine with me and then i'll press okay then i'll select the low frequency i mean layer then move to the brushes and then select my mixer brush too so this is very important this part of the frequency separation process is very important so just keep notes about it so this place i'll select um, this particular box is i mean transparent and then this particular key is ticked off which is the load the brush uh load the brush after each stroke and then this particular key is a clean the brush after each stroke so i'll keep this one on select the custom and then the wet uh so the wet simply means the wetness of the brush you understand you're going to do the painting with that is the mixer brush so how wet is your brush let's say you are painting I mean a wall then you dip your brush into the paint how wet is your brush that, that that is the meaning of the wet here so um with my wet i'll keep it around um let's say 40 40 is cool with me and then the load so the load simply means how much color you are picking understand how much color you are picking for a painting so i'll keep the load around let's say 45 43 go with it and then the mix so the mix the mix simply means uh, what quantity you understand what quantity of color you are mixing or manipulating on the image so uh i'll put uh, uh the mix around let's say maintain it around 40 and then the flow the flow is one of the most important so the flow means how much brush you are actually picking understand you are actually pushing for the painting so i'll keep the flow around let's say 45 yes then i'll push this one to zero I don't need that so let's get started now there's one thing you need to take note when you are doing frequency separation you don't have to brush from shadows to the highlight and you don't have to brush from highlights to shadows you understand you need to do that separately you understand and then the transition between highlight and shadows has to be smooth there, there's no point that leaving that sharp i mean transition you understand it has to be smooth so you need to blend it very well so let's get started so one thing you also have to i mean take into consideration is if you are not really perfect in doing frequency separation, you need to, I mean, put a black and white layer on on the image so that you can see what you are really doing. And then there's one secret about frequency separation that a lot of people don't talk about it. When you are dealing with a low layer, you need to keep the high layer off. You understand? You need to keep the texture off and then put the black and white on it like i just did so let's put the black and white on this layer uh, i 
I'll select black and white. And then uh, wish okay, so let's make it this way. So you can really see what you are doing. And then turn off my high frequency off. And then make the low frequency active. Then go on my mixer brush. So now I'm coming to blend the skin very well. So let's get started. So when I'm done, I'll put on my high frequency to bring back the texture. This works very well with me. That is why I'm doing it this way. But not everyone does it how I'm doing it. You understand? Yeah. So let's keep blending. Make sure you don't brush from. Make sure you don't brush from um, highlights to shadows. black and white is really helping me to i mean know where i'm blending and what i'm doing you understand? Yeah. so what we are doing is we are we are blending the colors very well on the image we are not dealing with texture now we are blending colors because blemishes and everything now have already been taken up so we are only blending Outlets. Always press Control Z or Command Z to I mean undo where you think it didn't go well with you. And I'm using a mouse, you understand? So those of you using the Wacom tablet, I don't think the numbers are going to be the same depending on your image, you understand? So play along with the numbers. Don't keep it at one place and feel that's the best way of doing it. No, you have to play along with the numbers and you get the right numbers for your frequency separation all the time. blending Keep doing it. Okay. 
okay so we are almost done we have frequency separation let's take off the black and white bring back the texture let's take off the black and white to see what we have really done this is what we have done so far i think we are on a good so i'll i mean keep blending the places that i feel i have to i mean revisit uh, So with a transition from highlights to shadows, we can correct that with um, macro dodge and bend. When we are done, I mean, doing the frequency separation, you can do that before doing the frequency separation, or you can do it after frequency separation. It all depends on you, what you think will work for you. So we are done with our frequency separation. Let's see before and after. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.